was the top of my game. No one ever could take me down. I see a song. Uh, God, I'm running out of words, dude. My, uh, so much. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm terrified for later because so I'm already like I'm still like emotionally exhausted after those Steven Universe episodes, and now I've got to do a Walking Dead season finale. <laughs> Jeez, th those are, those are enough to like exhaust me for a week. But it's gonna be quite a day. It really is. I think tomorrow I'm gonna have to just go out by myself, like a um, fancy meal somewhere, and just clear my head. Uh, just just have a nice burger, maybe some ice cream. Nah, I was, I was gonna go to like an Italian restaurant or something. Somewhere. Ooh. I mean, you, I mean, restaurants do burger, do like fancy burgers sometimes, but. I don't know, I was thinking more like a... There's a place that does really nice lasagna in town, like the nicest lasagna I've ever had. I wanna go there. Ah, oh, that's nice. I could do with some spaghetti, me. I hope she made lots of spaghetti! LOL HA <laughs> YouTube group Westford song! Those were the days. I know you weren't really on the internet back then, but... Those were the days, man. Back when Windows Movie Maker. Oh uh, my god, I'm, my, I used to make all my videos with Movie Maker. Like, I, I used to have over 100 videos on my channel and now I have like 12 or something because I've taken so many down. There was one day where I just decided to purge like, all the things that I wasn't proud of. Yeah, I've, I've had that, that feeling. Well, there's a lot of spams when you've been using YouTube since you were 12. There's a high chance that a lot of it was cringy and terrible. <laughs> I mean, I'm not embarrassed about it. Like I said, I was 12, but like, it's not something I'd like to stay there. Yeah. But I wish I'd kept a few of them just for like myself, though. I wish I hadn't been so like, they must be removed from history. Nah, yeah, maybe you should have like put them on private or something. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry if anyone heard a loud noise. I just accidentally stood on my wire and yanked my headset off my head. But um, that's that's something I want to say to anybody who's like creative or creates things, like um, anyone who like draws or animates or makes music or whatever. Don't throw away the old work you're not proud of. Like keep it. Like yeah. listen to it later when you can see how much you've improved. And sometimes you just want to look back on it for memories. I have a. There was a bunch of old drawings that I don't know where they are now. I didn't throw them away, but I have no idea what happened to them, and I wish I still had them. Like, it's, obviously, it's not the end of the world if you lose them, but don't try not. Don't throw them away if you like. If you like, in the early days of your craft, keep them. Yeah. Keep keep your early Minecraft worlds. Oh god. <laughs> no, just 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 throw them away. Just throw all of it away. I'm kidding, if you like Minecraft, that's fine, it's just not... I don't know, I'm not a very big fan of Minecraft, to be completely honest. But, what the hell does what I think matter? It's still, it's one of the most popular games ever made. Yeah, it's, it's a good game, it's just, you don't have to play if you don't like it. Well, you can say that about any game, really, but... I don't know. What I'm saying is, uh... I don't know, I've, be I've recently kind of become a bit more opinionated, like, oh, well not recently, like, since I became a teenager, and I'm like 23 now, but like, since I became a teenager, I've started like becoming a bit more opinionated about what I like and don't like, whereas when I was a kid, it was just like, this is a video game! <laughs> I'm playing a video game! Like, I didn't really think about it anywhere near as much. When, when I was a kid, I didn't, I didn't think there was such a thing as a bad video game, everything was just a video game. I don't think I was like that. I mean, there were definitely games I enjoyed more than others, but, uh, um, I don't know. I never really talked about it, though. It's just kind of like a, a subconscious thing that I never really put much thought into. But I don't know. I, 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 I don't think there's... I, I think it's it's okay to, like, be critical of games, because it's like... I still knew whether I liked games more than other games back then, and I would, I, I don't know, I've become more interested in, like, what makes games good and stuff lately. Like, I realize now that a lot of Sonic games are pretty flawed, but, um, I still enjoy a lot of them for, like, nostalgic memories, and I think there are still some good ones. Like, I don't think they're all terrible just because some of them have aged. Yeah. 
Like, uh, a lot of people hate Sonic Adventure, for example. That one is really aged a lot for people. But I, I still enjoy it, but I wouldn't, like, mm. give it to someone to play and say, like, hey, this is a really good Sonic game. But people, a lot of people still think those are, like, the heyday of the series. Like, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Like, this is yeah, what the they, series they is aren't, good. they aren't really... Well, it's like, some people say that they're, they're, like, those were the good days, and other people say, like, this is when the series went downhill. Like, people, but both people are really, like, really stand their ground. Like, it's not like a people just kind of think that. Like, I don't know. People know what they like, I guess. No, I mean, there, I, I there, there, there's never been a point where Sonic games were just perfect. There were just some good Sonic games and some not as good, and all for their own reasons. Well, I, I feel like, I, I mean, a lot of people enjoy Sonic Adventure 2, so, like, clearly it did something right. Like, I mean, mm. you, you can pick apart, like, all the flaws of it all you want, because there are plenty, don't get me wrong. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's, there's so many, you can make a, make a web series out of how many there are. But the fact that so many people like that game clearly means something. Some Something is right with it. It's not an irredeemably terrible game, because of otherwise it wouldn't be that popular. Yeah. At the very least, it's just aged badly. Though it's weird though, because like when Sonic Adventure 2 on the Dreamcast came out, it got pretty good uh, reviews, but then when the remake came out, which was essentially like exactly the same, like there weren't like any more bugs or anything like mm. that, it got way worse reviews. And it that, 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 that was e wasn't even a year later, I think, so it, it was, hadn't like aged or anything. It was barely later at all, so it really just... I don't know, it's weird. Mm. What the heck happened? I mean, it got like a 9 on the Dreamcast, then a 4 or something on the GameCube. Which was a better version of the game? I mean, not everybody rips on it that badly, some people liked it, but... Um, yeah, there were, it did leave something to be desired. I guess, for some people. I don't know, I lost my trail of thought there, and I just started, like, <laughs> adding words to what I think sounded like what I was talking about. <laughs> I can barely see what's going on right now. I... I'm lost. You're lost. Are we not all lost? Uh, if you're playing Sonic Hill 6, you probably lost. In more ways than one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Also, that lava was... That lava did not light up the room at all, and now it is lighting up the room. Lava doesn't light things up, though. That's the thing. Like, I thought it did. Lava. No, like in real life, I don't think it does. I think real lava's pretty, like, dark and murky. Oh damn, Minecraft lied to me. Um, and so did Dark Souls 1, that lava was so damn bright. Yeah, it was well, like well, blinding. Yeah, we talked about that, but, well obviously not on a recording, but we have, we did used to talk about that, where like, even, even if, even like, what, considering what you knew back then, like, the, the lava in Dark Souls didn't look very good. At least compared mm. to the rest of the game, because most of Dark Souls looks really good, but the lava in that game looks like... hot sauce, I don't know. It's like... Jelly with those uh, light up worms, worm things in it, but but they're w super bright and there's millions of them. I like, get uh, like what, what are they shrimp that can light up? I don't know. I I like to tell you that I just processed what you said, but my mind did wander a little. You'll have to forgive me. <laughs> Um, would you like to repeat yourself and annoy everybody watching? I... By saying the same thing twice? I'm not even sure what I said. <laughs> wow. What great commentary, everybody! Aren't we just really blowing your minds today? <laughs> I don't even really know what just happened in the past ten minutes, I'm not gonna lie. In the game or in this conversation. No, at some point we entered Flame Core. <laughs> we entered Flame Core. Uh, and a worm came out of the ground. You were you were comp talking about what you think the lava looks like, and you said it looked like glowy shrimps or something. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was thinking about those uh, those shrimps in in one chat actually. I think we're putting about as much effort into our commentary as the developers put into this game. <laughs> we're just kind of kind of saying words. Milk toast. 
I agree. Uh, I'm gonna, I mean, after, after we're done with this recording, I'm just gonna go get drinks. Maybe, maybe something to eat. I'm thirsty. And I don't mean alcohol. I mean, like, juice. I like my juice. Ooh. I, I wasn't planning on recording anything after Silver, because I actually don't really want to play more of this right after. And The Walking Dead's gonna be coming out later anyway, I want to be nice and prepared for that. That's another reason why I wanted to stop, because it's like I want to... I don't want to, my preparation for Walking Dead to be playing Sonic 06. <laughs> I prepare for things by playing Sonic 06. Well, I mean, it's a good way to lower your standards a little bit, because it's like... If you spend it while playing Sonic 06, then anything is good by mm. comparison. Oh man, my standards for Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces are too high. I better play some Sonic 06. <laughs> I mean, I think Sonic Mania is reasonable. I think it's it's re I think it's reasonable to have high standards of Sonic Mania, just given like who's making it and what we've seen and people who have played it and like what they've thought of it and stuff like that. And like I said, I played it a little bit. And the, f the physics, at least, are absolutely fine. As well with the level designs. The only thing that's going to hurt is if, is if the level design isn't good. But I, it looks fine just watching videos of it. Oh, that look that looks so good. I played the casino level. I don't know how far in the game it was, but it, it required a bit of concentration. So I think it's I don't think it's like the, the second level or anything like that. It's probably. Hmm. Oh. We've almost done it. All we have to do now is kill the androids. Come on, Iblis. This time I'll finally stop you. Well, it's better than fighting the worm version of uh, this. I just realized I was muted. You were muted? I thought you just... Yep. Didn't I did go anything. quiet for a little while, then I started talking, and I realized I was muted. Oh. <laughs> I was talking about how, um... I, first off, I was talking about how, like, now that I know we're almost done, I have completely... My brain has, like, switched off even more, because it's like, we're, we're, we're on the final boss now, so... But then, then I started talking about how I remember this boss being kind of frustrating. Mm. And then I realized I was muted. So there, that's everything you missed. Uh. And then I unmuted my mic and sighed angrily. And it probably sounded like I had just orgasmed or something. <laughs> For all you know I had? You can't see me. I don't know, he might have. Let's see. On my first playthrough, I hated this boss. It took me so long to get through yeah, it. Yeah, me too. And of course, I had to keep repeating the last two levels because the game overs and you can't save between them. This is a terrible yeah. game, and I hate it. I, and you know what kept killing me? Every time I got to the end, I didn't know I could. Uh, I could pick up that giant ball he throws, throws it back in. I thought it was way too big to pick up. I don't like it when people give you commentary while you play. Yeah. No, and that that like just got in the, that just got in the way there. I couldn't see the characters. I, I mean, like the characters commenting. Always, we've got to do commentary. Oh, let let us do it, please. You shut up. I sound like a hypocrite. <gasps> you destroyed the foothold. Now, Silver. Rah, jump up my glowy head. Oh, Blaze just died. Spoilers. Oh. <gasps> the boss isn't even over yet, Blaze. <laughs> I know, save it for the cutscene. I'm sorry if I just spoiled the game for anybody, but... Mm. Why are you watching this instead of watching someone else? There are way more entertaining Let's 
place than this. It has been like 15 years since this game came out as well. 15 years? Yeah, it's actually been 15 years, right? No. no, 10 years, 10 years. It's 15 years since Sonic Creature 2. Came out in 2006, so it's been 11 years. Almost. I remember the 10 year anniversary last year, and everyone was like, it's the 10 year anniversary of the worst Sonic game ever. I don't think <laughs> it's the worst Sonic game ever. I think it's pretty bad, but I think there are ones that are actually worse than this. Because at least this game is like entertaining in how bad it is, but there are ones that are just completely irredeemable trash. Sonic Boom as of look is probably worse than this. I don't know, Sonic Boom's even like entertaining though, because like, it's like so bad that it's funny. But like some game I don't know, like Sonic Genesis and the Game Boy Advance is pretty terrible. And um Um what else? That that's Something. impressive because it's a part of a good game. Uh, it was just sloppily done. I actually have that. I've. I don't know how that game turned out that way. I don't even know how it got. Pa I don't know how it got past QA, and if there even was a QA. What? Well, I mean, a lot of people say like blame the QA for like Sonic Boom actually, but apparently it wasn't actually their fault. The game was bad because like they can point out the problems, but they can't fix them. That's what quality assurance does. They tell the developer, they pass things onto the developers, but if the developers don't fix it, then that's not their fault. Mm. That's the developer's fault. And uh, that, uh, from what I from what I hear, though, I don't even think it was the developer's fault. It sounds like working on that game was a nightmare experience for everybody. I think that the thing that uh, that held them back the most was the fact that they were working on the Cry Engine before they knew they were making a Wii U game. Yeah, and they had like less than a year to make it. Like apparently, when they announced it, they did the people on the team didn't know about it either. Like that it was supposed to be a Wii U game. God, those poor people. Yeah. They deserved better. They deserved to be making a PS4 game or something if they were working on the Cry Engine. And there isn't even a. Fl does, doesn't even lava doesn't even react. He just kind of meshes into the lava. <laughs> Sonic sits everyone. Like, like it's weird. They went out of their way to show like a death cutscene, but they did a really terrible job. Have you seen any other of the Ninja Turtles movies? I've barely even seen Ninja Turtles in the first place. Ah, well, well in, in the third movie, there's a shot of this guy falling into uh, seen, into the water, and there's not even a splash. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. I was going to say I have seen the EVGM review of it. I do know about the splash thing. All right, it's just dumb. They could have just cut it. Ugh, I hate that mouth. <laughs> I hate the mouth in this game. I feel like this part should have been the CG cutscene. Well, it is, just not to the same standard as some of the other ones. Mm, it's, it's using the in-game models, though. Yeah, but not the in-game engine. It's using, like, lighting slightly different. Like, the game wouldn't have been able to make that thing look, that, look like that, for example. This is the part where Silver wimps out. Because he's a wimp. Also, she turns into Burning Blaze from Sightwish for some reason. Did she actually? She doesn't turn red. Like, she gets red flames around her, but she doesn't actually turn red. It's, uh, when she's in the air, her aura go. she gets an aura, like from Dragon Ball Z. It's probably just the fire. I don't know, I know it's like an actual transformation. Yeah, I always thought it was Burning Blaze. Oh my god, how sad. God damn, just die already. Why am I even going giving this the Why am I even giving this Oh the she was burning blaze, the things on her wrists and her feet were like pink. That's what happens in Sonic Wars. I don't know. I didn't even 
know it was called Burning Blaze when I was playing that game. I didn't find that out until ages later. I, I, just... I didn't either. Because they never actually call it that. No, it's just Blaze. It's super fun, but apparently it's called Burning Blaze. Because she used the soul emeralds. What a terrible game! This game is boring and stupid. This game is not making me cry for the death of Blaze. It's not even making me sad. It's just making me bored. It makes me feel like I'm sinking my time into something that does not deserve it. Oh. Like how Lacey, Lacey Jabber is the only one that gets properly credited as a character and the rest of them is just this, it's this name and this name. <laughs> Same with the Japanese voices. I think it's Lacey Chabert, and that sounds familiar. I think she might have been uh, Meg Griffin and Family Guy before the current one. Maybe. I've, I know I've heard her name from something. It's not this. Well, now that it's done, do you have any finishing words? Um. But you still control the past. I don't know, there's just lyrics. Well, I have a few words. It's, you know, look, it's the cutscenes, there's Mephistopheles. Please turn it off before I kill myself. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's like, a, like a, a movie, we have to wait and see if there's another scene at the end. I guess we may as well just let the credits play out. Even <laughs> though, by all means, I am ready to just put my headset down and go downstairs and just forget this ever happened. Yeah, I'm just gonna make this fade out at some point and just. No, I mean, it's not like the whole thing. I mean, we haven't said anything that's like needs to be cut out. I don't think. I mean, just saying that I'm upstairs really can give away my location. I don't think so. I don't think anybody wants to dox me anyway. I don't have any enemies that I know of. If I do, I wish they would talk to me more. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi once in a while. Don't be a stranger. Remind me that you hate me. Even Captain Hook goes into Neverland every once in a while to say hi to Peter. Even Crash and Cortex had a one game where they were friends. Oh, oh yes, and they did the roly poly thing. I never played that game ever. Ever, ever. That one's pretty fun. I've heard people say it's good, but I remember not seeing great reviews for it when it came out. I guess I'll just have to play it myself one day, but I'm not in such a hurry to do so. I've been playing the, the original trilogy to be ready for the insane trilogy when it comes out, because um, I never played them growing up and I was interested in the insane trilogy, but I figured I'd get more out of it if I knew what the old ones were like, so... I, I, I played through all three hundred percent, and it was fun, but um, I don't think I, I don't feel the need to play any further than that. Mm. For now, at least. I've been playing them a lot more too since Eric started playing them. I mean, I I played them when I was uh, when I was younger, mostly three, but I never completed them. Hundred percent. Yeah, I, I got to the credits in 2 and 3 and used passwords for 1 because I found that very difficult. First one was pretty diff is pretty difficult to 100%. It was not that much fun either. Yeah. More fun than Sonic Pinch 2, all emblems though. <laughs> That's, that can be a right bitch. Wow, I feel they have a whole they had a whole team for motion capture and oh my Wonder Man. Just why why would you give a cartoon character motion capture? I just will never understand. <laughs> I'm just not a big fan of motion capture to begin with. To be honest, I prefer it when characters have actual love and care in their animation. I mean, I get that it's like efficient because it's like you can animate mm. efficiently, but it, does, right. it looks better when you do it properly. Like when it's a, a game that's like realistic, like Uncharted or something, 
then motion capture is really good for that. Yeah, even then I think the motion capture should only be used as a reference at most. Like, mm. whereas, I don't know, it's like games like Dead Rising, it's like they just... Get, like Dead Ri games like Dead Ri like the early Dead Risings or like the Dead Island games. The first Dead Island game I know had it where it's like they get the the characters have like no facial expressions, so they just make their heads move a lot to like hide it. <laughs> I think now they have I, I think now they motion cap cap the face as well. To get in really realistic No in, in newer games. I just prefer real animation. I don't want to sound pretentious, but I just like it better when like people take the time to handcraft it and make it look properly, make it look good. It's like the 3D equivalent of rotoscoping almost, but still harder because everything in 3D is more complicated. Mm. I sound pretentious. I mean, I don't have a job at animation. I'd like to get one because I'm doing an animation course and that's, that's my that's my aim for the future, but. What I'm saying is, it's not like I'm, like, Mr. Big Shot over here knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I, uh, I tried to do some 3D stuff and it wasn't really working for me. I just found it really difficult to get into, so I preferred to do the 2D stuff. I've gotten the hang of, like, working in Maya. I just don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. I don't, because I don't like the way it looks, I don't enjoy making it as much. I just prefer to, I, I mean, I, I don't, I find it way harder to make 3D look good than to make 2D look good. Even when 3D does look good, I don't think it looks as good as 2D. Like, even with, like, really high budget CGI, like Tangled, for example, like, I still think 2D Disney films look better. Mm, I always preferred those. <laughs> but that's, I mean, I get why they don't make them, because it's just... It's, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not practical anymore. Well, nobody, no, people don't want to watch 2D films at the cinema anymore, they want to watch 3D because they feel like 2D is like the past. Hmm. Isn't, Which, uh, isn't 3D more efficient to make now as well? No, it's cheaper. Oh, it's cheaper. Okay. But, that doesn't mean, I mean, Tangled had a really high budget though, that was not a cheap movie. My well, song's playing right now, I can't hear the audio. Uh, His World. Okay. Nope. Well. Nope. My Destiny. That's a pretty damn good song. I listen to that sometimes. It's one of the few redeeming things about this game, about most Sonic games, the music. Like, the music we've heard from Psych Forces has been really good so far. Oh, and there's that one that's got the little bit of lyrics. Destiny lies before you. Destiny lies before you. Nobody knows what comes next. Except the people at Sega. <laughs> well, that's it. We're done. Please kill me. Yep. The end. The end. I'm done. That's it, and eventually we'll do Shadow, but probably take a bit of a break.